Hey folks, it's been a long time. Uh, really sorry for being so quiet. I've been super busy with freelancing stuff. But today I just wanted to show you this uh, technique that I use for creating sculpt add-ons in uh, sculpt alphas, sorry, in Blender. Uh, I used to do it manually. Found this great add-on that is uh, made by this guy, Ethan Simon. And as you can see here, it's actually meant for creating trim sheets, but it's really, really good for um, creating sculpt alphas as well. Um, I actually found out about this from my friend, Michael Kinsey, and he did a great video about this um, uh, for Dynasty Empire, which I will link in the description. You should watch that. Um, okay, so what is an alpha, a sculpt alpha specifically? If you don't know, uh, it's basically just a height map, a black and white height map that is um, meant for uh, putting onto a sculpting brush so that you can layer detail quickly onto um, a sculpt. Um, I assume you've seen them in use like in various places, but they're very commonly used. So uh, what this does is just, um, it isn't difficult to make these in Blender without an add-on. It's just with this add-on, it's so easy, like it would be stupid not to use it. So that's what I want to show you guys. Also, this is completely free. So this guy's been good enough to make it available for free. So what you want to do is go to the uh, Gumroad page of this add-on and I'll link it in the description of the video, obviously. Um, it's completely for free, but uh, I prefer to donate because this guy is uh, such a good, uh, great help for, uh, and uh, really good work he's doing. But uh, yeah, you want to download this. I've already done so. Um, and then you just install it in Blender. And I'm not going to show you how to install an add-on. It's basically the same as every other add-on ever. So uh, just go ahead and install it. Um, and once you're in Blender, after you've installed it, um, you can just uh, press your N key to access your end panel here and grab doc. This is the add-on that's that's not been installed. And uh, let me just enable screencast keys so you can, can see what I'm doing. But yeah, so grab doc here. When you click on this, you'll see setup scene, click that. You got your uh, base scene here, which is meant for like, like everything that is going to be in the map, the final map has to be within this space here. So it can't be outside of this because the camera won't capture it. This is the camera, by the way. Uh, okay, so how do we create our alpha. Um, remember, this is now the alpha that's going to be layered onto uh, whatever other sculpt I have. So um, it can be anything. But uh, by the way, also you can do normals, curvature, ambient occlusion, all this useful stuff. I'm just going to do height. So I'm going to disable all this other stuff. And I'll explain these uh, settings as I go through them. But basically, for, for your first stop, you want to go here, disable anything that you don't need. So I'm going to do everything except height. So how this works is any geometry that's inside here will be eventually in the map. So for example, if I have the little monkey here um, and I press my height preview, it'll sort of have the monkey like, um, and you can see it's creating like a little gradient here where uh, zero black is like the floor plane and white is like the raised areas. Um, and so you, it's nice to have that, that little preview there so basically anything within the square, right? Uh, I'll click leave map preview and uh, delete monkey. Um, you, you don't want to use this plane for anything. Just just leave it as is. Um, add anything else, even if it's a plane. I'm going to do that. I'm going to add in a plane here um, and just tab into edit mode and right click subdivide. And I'll subdivide it uh, quite a few times, 50. Still not enough. I'll subdivide it a few more times. I want a really dense um, mesh here, and I'll just disable the default plane that it creates, uh, just to avoid that Z fighting. Um, okay, so uh, I'm going to sculpt something on this that will then be layered uh, onto my other sculpt um, as an alpha. So, um, by the way, just shade smooth as well, just so it looks nice in sculpt mode. Okay, I'm going to sculpt a crack. Typical, typical uh, crack, because these are really useful as alphas, by the way. And I'll make this um, this crack uh, alpha available. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for it. Um, okay, so there's my crack. It doesn't look very good. Let me just um, uh, fine tune it a little bit. I'll use a, uh, what is it? A scrape brush. And uh, in my tool settings here, I'll increase the hardness. And then under advanced, I'll just increase the, I'll just enable um, normal, use original normal. And what this will do is if you hold down control 
and sculpt like in from the flat areas here it'll create sort of a, a harder edge which is very useful for creating like that little broken edge of the crack um, and this is really basic there's ways to make this look even more convincing but I'm not going to go into that right now so I'll speed up the video here while I just quickly uh, make this crack a little bit prettier Okay, so that's my crack. Uh, it looks kind of wonky, but you get the idea. Um, I didn't spend nearly enough time on this. Like, you could always come in here and kind of refine the edges a little bit. But it's convincing for now. Um, okay, so now I want to see how this crack is going to look on my alpha. So I want to go back to grab dock here and just click height to enable the preview. And nothing happens. That's because um, if you leave map preview and look from the side, you can see the main information of the sculpt is actually below the floor line, which is the red X line here. Um, so you want everything of importance in your sculpt or geometry or whatever it is to be above that red line. So you want to just move it up. So G, Z. Um, okay, and now we'll click preview again. And you can see it gives you a nice white with um, the darkened areas for the lowered uh, geometry there. Um, if this looks weird, you can always just press manual here and leave map preview. And from the side, uh, if you press manual, you can um, sort of set this manually. I don't really recommend this because you have to be really precise with this because you want that white value to be solid white. You want it to be actual white. If it's slightly gray, you don't get um, good results. So, But that's always an option. Um, but yeah, I just set it to auto or I just flip between manual and auto to update the add-on because it sometimes doesn't update But yeah, so um, let's click preview again. So yeah, that's what you get and yeah, that's basically it That's how you create your height map. Um, I can just uh, name it. So I'll just call it crack height uh, Alpha and I will set a export location which will just be My desktop accept um, just make sure it's 16-bit. That's very important. You do not want to use 8-bit for height maps. Just 16-bit is fine. PNG should be good. Um, everything else here should be fine. Again, you can do all kinds of other maps, like normal maps. Um, you can just enable them here. They've got settings. Like if you sh cl click the little arrow here, you can set all the different settings. Very useful. Um, all of this really isn't that important, although refresh scene also does, uh, I just thought of that, uh, it, like if you flip between manual and auto, it somehow refreshes like the range within which this thing bakes, but refresh scene sh should do that as well. Um, yeah, ceiling, this probably just, this just sets where the, the camera is, see? So you can set that too. Um, doesn't really matter for this case. Uh, scaling all of this um, basically just scales the size of your scene grid subdivisions uh, I'm not sure what this does I haven't tried it I don't think it's important um, manually pick rendered you can pick if there's like multiple objects you can pick what what's being rendered and what's being ignored so um, yeah I think that's more or less everything of importance sampling I don't think this makes much of a difference for height maps it does though for ambient occlusion I think um, yeah, much of this I'm not an expert at. I just use the height function. So sorry if I'm giving you some misinformation here. Uh, watch Michael's video for more of an in-depth overview. Um, okay, so just uh, I'm going to click height just to make sure my preview still looks good. Yes, it does. I'm going to click export height. And it's been exported. This little message confirms. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a different Blender file. And I'm going to show you how to layer this onto a sculpt as a sculpt alpha okay so i'm here in a new file let us delete the camera and lamp i'm going to use the cube to um demonstrate uh i need a bunch of subdivisions so let's get into um let's get into edit mode 
and subdivide, I don't know, 50 times. That's not enough. Let's do 150. So this is weird. I don't think that's 150. But anyway, um, just subdivide it a few more times. So you just have a really dense uh, cube here. Um, just set it to shading smooth. Just get a smooth shading. Uh, enable sculpt mode. Okay. Um, I'll disable symmetry. Okay, so let's create our uh, alpha brush. Uh, again, let me uh, enable screencast keys again. It's a new file. It disables it when I open a new file. Um, okay, so in, in your brush settings, um, you can use the default brush. I just use that usually. And I just click this little uh, button here to create a, like a new copy of it. And I'll call it uh, alpha brush. And this is what I'll use for all my alphas. So, um, okay, now you want to go down to texture and here new. Um, and then here in your textures tab, make sure here under brush. Um, so you have your brush selected. Uh, you just uh, open, open your new texture and find it wherever it's saved. Okay, so now if you sculpt it on, you'll see it doesn't look, it, it's not right. right? That looks terrible. Um, so what you want to do is go to uh, your mapping method set it to i believe view plane or area plane or either of them are fine i'll just try area plane <clears throat> uh, stroke method um this is depends on the kind of alpha you're doing like if you're splattering on a lot of different um like splattering it all, all over the place and you probably want uh, drag dot or dots uh yeah or even just space is fine but for me i want uh anchored because i just want to like do this where it sort of drags it out like this but you can see it's still not right it's creating this horrible bulge so what you want to do for this is actually um, make the sample bias zero uh, minus one uh, oh, yeah and when I hit undo it it's a bug it undo it, it uh, reverts all my menu changes so I have to go back and sit anchor it again it's so annoying but uh, yeah just make sure your sample bias is set to minus one and anchored and oh yeah and set this to uh area plane so what that will do then is create an anchored brush and it's a bit strong so shift f just bring down the strength a little bit um i believe this is the difference between area plane and view plane so view plane will go around the corner or it will try uh, where area plane basically sticks to one side which depending on what you're doing Either one is uh, probably useful, but uh, yeah, I mean, and that's it. That's how you create alphas. And you can see how this is super useful for, uh, I mean, imagine if you had like a, a much more detailed crack alpha where, where you just, uh, you know, now it doesn't always do the, the right thing. Like in this case, it does this horrible uh, stretching thing. Uh, here, I would actually just use my scrape brush to fix it. Uh, scrape. Let me just show you real quick because this is also pretty useful. Um, I'll increase the hardness and enable normal uh, here under advanced and just hold down control and kind of sculpt this back out. So you can do that if you have er errors. But yeah, that's basically that's how that's what it is um, to create alphas and very useful. You can set the strength. Uh, you can hold down control to make it like come outwards, like if you want veins or something. Um, yeah, the, the the options are unlimited. You can also play around with all these settings, like your uh, mapping settings, you know, to get different results here. Like, for example, I believe if you use random and enable, uh, no, what was it now? Uh, no, keep it on area plane and enable uh, dots here and uh, jitter. Yeah, so you can see here, you can do that um, uh, and enable this little checkbox here. It, yeah, it creates sort of a random one. So, so yeah, this is uh, very, very useful um, and it'll make sculpting detailed sculpts a lot uh, faster, a lot quicker, a lot more painless. So um, I hope that's useful to you guys. I uh, hope you can, uh, this makes your life easier. Um, again, all files and links will be uh, linked in the description and also this particular alpha that I made will also be linked on my Gumroad for free if you want to try it out. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.